Hi, I'm John Mark Palacios with the CAD office at the Florida Department of Transportation. Uh, so I'm going to just show you briefly how you would check for and set a geographic coordinate system on a file in both Civil 3D and Open Roads, and also how you would check for any missing references in both Open Roads and in Civil 3D. And these are checks that might be useful at the end when uh, when districts are reviewing a submitted project or they might be useful to designers or peer reviewers on the way as well. So we have a file open here in Civil 3D. I'm going to start looking at the coordinate system in there. So what you first want to do is come up here to the workspace drop down, change it from Civil 3D and switch it over to planning and analysis, the last one in the option. And now you're going to have a tab in the ribbon called Map Setup, right about here in the middle. So I switch to that tab if it doesn't switch already for you like it did for me. And over here in the coordinate system, you have an option that says Assign. And if you hover over it, you also see the key in if you prefer to type it in on the keyboard. Map CS Assign. So I'm just going to click that button. And it's going to tell you right here whether or not there's a currently assigned coordinate system. So in this case there is, it's FL83 NF, it's North Florida, so that's correct. Now if it's not assigned or if it's assigned it wrong, you can just start typing in the search here, FL83, because we only have three to choose from. It's the state plane for east, north, and west, and we of course aren't using meters, so make sure it has the F at the end for foot. So FL83, EF, NF. So if I just pick a different one, like say EF, and assign it, I could change it for that file. And it doesn't show anything here anymore because it just moved it somewhere else. So because that one was actually correct, I'm just going to undo that. And don't freak out that the F dot tab of the ribbon is gone. You'll just have to relaunch the program for that to come back, because even if I switch back to Civil 3D, it may not show up again but it's not the end of the world. You'll just have to relaunch it if you want to see it again. All right, so the same process in open roads for the geographic coordinate system. You're going to come over to the utilities tab of the ribbon and under the geographic section, click the big coordinate system button and this will pop up and this will tell you if there's a currently assigned coordinate system. In this case, there is. It's FL83 and F, State Plain North Zone. If you need to sign it, you can click the box that says From Library, or the button, I should say. And in this case, because it's already selected, it's all the way down here. It has everything shown. In the case that you don't have it selected, you're probably going to see something like this. You'll just see the projected geographic uncategorized. It is a projected coordinate system, so go in there, go into North America, go into USA. Don't double click like I did, just hit the plus. And then under Florida, you're going to look for FL83, NF, WF, or EF, and they're right here. Whichever one is appropriate for your project location. And if you want to change it, you can just click OK and it'll change it to a different one. It says OK, it's selected a different one. Are you correcting it or reprojecting it? What's the correct thing to do here? So it was it was a, everything showing in the right location. You can just say I'm correcting it. And that shouldn't move it, but it'll just correct the uh, coordinate system in use. So now it says EF. All right, so now to run the reference checker in Open Roads, you want to come over here to the F dot tab of the ribbon. You want to come over to under the action section, look under the miscellaneous tools, click on the drop down, and select about part way down. You're going to select where it says reference checker. Then you're going to browse to the directory 
for the project that you want to check. So in this case, I'm going to go to my worksets folder. Let's see, here's my project. I'm just going to click OK at the root level of the project. And it's going to bring in all of these gen files from that project. And then I just click Run and wait for it to process. All right, so after you click Run, you can give it a few minutes. Let it finish spinning. If you don't see it right away, it's possible that it got moved behind. So just minimize open roads and then the report is hiding back there. So what you want to do, I mean, you can you can look through this if you want and it'll tell you is a reference found true or false as a, as appropriate or this one's got no references. You just want us to do is save that report. So we'll put it in the meta info folder. And we're going to just call it the references report. And it's saving as an Excel file. And it'll automatically open up in Excel. So it's nicely colored. It's got these uh, colored in red whenever it didn't find the reference or didn't find a reference. So you can make a note of which files have missing references. If you want to get fancy and make a summary of that to total up the number of files, you can you could do a, that with a formula, or you could just flag it and say there's missing references in this project, and that is all you need to know. So there's a similar tool for that in Civil 3D, but the Civil 3D tool we didn't build. Autodesk provides that. So it actually is a little bit more comprehensive and that it's going to check not just the file references, but it's also going to check the uh, defined resources, plot styles, fonts, and that sort of thing. So usually it should show up under your Civil 3D folder in the start menu as a separate program called Reference Manager. I know in the 2021 version, the older versions, it it did for some reason on mine it's showing in the autodesk architecture folder so i'm just going to launch it from there reference manager now you can click here to add drawings but if you're trying to do the whole project i wouldn't recommend doing it this way because this only lets you select it doesn't let you select a folder it only lets you select a file and if i click open it's it's not it just navigates down in that folder so the best way to do this is actually to go into Windows Explorer, find your project. So this one is a Civil 3D project. Let me go in here to my Civil 3D projects directory. And I'm going to look for this project right here. So I'm just going to drag and drop the whole project folder over to the left here. And then it's going to have this pop up. Do you want to include nested XREFs? can be audited automatically. Now, if you're doing partial, you might want to do that. This doesn't really matter because it's adding all the files from this project. So it probably shouldn't matter what you choose. I'm just going to do add them all. And then so it'll, it'll run through it, add them all, and process it. And it'll create a report over here. All right, so when this opens, or when this is done running, it's going to list all your files over on the left here. And then over on the right, it's going to list anything that's missing. So you can sort it by these columns if you want. So the status says resolved, so that means it found it. But I just scroll to the bottom going to be found in a different location or not found. So those are XRefs, of course, are the file references, but it's also listing plot styles that are not found. And if there's any fonts not found, 
So there's some plot configurations, the PC3 files. And there's some image of it. So those are separately listed. And those are those are the aerials that had trouble finding because it's got a looks like it had an absolute path here instead of a relative path. And those are all the ones now over here on the left side. If you want, you can change it to list by the reference type instead of listing all the files. It all depends how you want to sort it. So here's all the references or all the different types and then it lists the references underneath. But what you probably want to do at the end of this is just export the report. So we'll export it. And this is going to export to a CSV file. It has the option for Excel. It didn't work correctly when I tried it. So CSV is probably the safest bet. So I'm just going to call this the reference report. And I'm going to store it in the meta info folder for my project. Click save. This one's not going to open it automatically. So you can go into Windows Explorer. Navigate to the meta info folder and there's your CSV file. So you can double click to open it. Now CSV doesn't really have any formatting so it's not pretty like the other one. But you can save it as an Excel and start applying formatting. It's not a problem. Uh, so you can see the status not found. There's a couple fun things you can do with this. You know, if you select everything, so I just select all with Control A. I can format this as a table. It does have headers, so I'm going to click OK. This will allow me to filter it. Let's say I want to just look at status as not found. And you could, of course, do the same tools with the other report as well. And if you want to do any fancy formulas, you can add columns over there. In this case, the other thing I want to do is show you how to do conditional formatting because the Open Roads report had it. This one doesn't. So if you want to do conditional formatting, you can select everything and just do a highlight cells rules equal to format cells that are equal to not found. And as case sensitive, I'm going to just do a light red fill over here. So there I have a little bit of conditional formatting and makes it easier to spot the ones that are, have issues as you scroll through everything. Or and if you want to just say filter it to the type of xrefs and images because those are the file references. You can also do that. So now it's just looking at xrefs and images. All right, so if you save if you just save as a CSV, it won't save any of your formatting so what you want to do is do a save as it may ask you right here you can just do save as or go to the file menu and do save as change it to a normal excel workbook format and we're going to leave it the same name and just click save we're saving at the same location and now it should keep the pretty formatting filtering formulas whatever you add to it and that's it Thank you.